Pardon me, sis. She was caught and arrested. That is why. Just fair. Send her for two. That's for entertainment. A trial and punishment of antiquity. My good people, Creon stands before his palace and greets you. My good people, I, I, I am your servant, your obedient servant. Creon stands here and smiles. For what does he see? Fatness and happiness? My good people, how does one measure the success of this thing? There is a story. Creo stands here and smile and for what does he see? Fatness and happiness? My good people. Creo stands here and what does he see? Have you ever asked yourself who's responsible for that fatness and happiness? The answer is simple. Yourself is the king. But have you then gone on to ask yourself what does the king need to maintain that fatness and happiness? The answer is simple. Is it not? The law. Yes, the law. My good people, the law. The law defends. The law is like a shield in your faithful servant's hand to protect you. But even if the law, it will be useless. But even if it's a shield, it will be useless to protect you without a sword, on the other hand, to strike. So too, the law has its edge, which is the penalty. We have come through difficult times. Needless for me to remind you of our constant troubles in our border. Those despicable we do to know away our fairness and happiness. We have been diligent in dealing with them. But unfortunately, there are still few threats. And to them, I must show this face of freedom. So different to the one that hates happy people. It is with a heavy heart that I must tell you why I have you called you happy people. And I want to tell you that we have yet caught another one. My good people, let what follows be a living live lesson. I must still misguided enough still to have a sympathy for that. The sword, the shield has protected now it's just for the sword to strike. Bring in the accused. <laughs> Your name? Antigone, daughter of Polyn daughter of Odipas, sister to Polymasses and Ethiopolis. <clears throat> you, you are accused that in defiance of the law. You buried the body of the traitor Polonius. I buried the body of my brother Polonius. Did you know there was a law forbidding that? Yes. Yet you defied it? Yes. Did you know the consequences of such a defiance? Yes. Then what did you plead to the charges that were laid against you? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Thank you, God. You have pleaded guilty. Is there anything you wish to say in litigation? Speak now. This is your last chance. Who made the law forbidding the burial of my brother? The state. Who is the state? As king, I am its manifest symbol. So you made the law? Yes, for the state. Are you God? Watch your words, little girl. But you said it was my chance to speak. But not to ridicule. With no time to waste your lips. Your sentence hangs waiting on your lips. Let's speak on. When Polo Nas is that in the battlefield, all that was left was the empty husk of his body. He could neither harm or help any man again. But lie there in the battlefield, waiting for her daughter to tell daughter, belong to God. You are only a man, Creon. Even as there are laws that are set by a man, there are others that come from God too. 
for he watches over my soul for a transgression. Even as your spies hide in the bushes waiting to see who's transgressing your laws. Guilty against God, I will not be for any man on this earth. Even without your laws, Creon, and the threat of death for whoever defiled it. I know I must die because of your law and my defiance. And that fate is near now. So much the better. You are not a threat to me, Creon. But if I had to let my mother's son, the son of the land, to lie there as food for the carrion fly, what oh, does my soul could have never known peace? Do you understand anything of what I'm saying, Creon? Your ways, the days of the dark of Tennessee, a spirit that has brought nothing but courage to your people. First, you break the law, now you decide the state. Only because I ask you to remember that you're only a man. And to add an Israel, you close your back, you close your fire, your deep. No one will come. You will not escape this impunity. Even if you were my own child, you will not escape the full punishment of the law. Full punishment? Yes. What you like to do more than just kill me? That is all I wish. Then let us stop wasting time. Stop talking. I buried my brother. That is an honorable thing to do. Even the people in your state will say so too. We feel you will never look enough to them in silence. You are wrong. None of my people think the way you do. Yes, they do. But none of them dares to tell you so. I will not be peaceful with them. You are any shame yet not to have granted you honest. I do not feel any shame at having honored my brother. Was he that guy this is not also your brother? He was. Uh, so you would rather honor the one and decide the other. I shed my life. Not for fate. Love. Go then and share your love amongst the dead. Because I, I would not have great law here again. Why yet I do? We are wasting time, Creon. Your words defeat your purpose. They are prolonging my life. You have had all the reasonable facts. Needless for me to call on the state witness who testified beyond the reasonable doubt that the accused is guilty. Nor, for, nor is it in the best interest of the state to disclose their identity. There was a law. The law was broken. My hand are tied. Take care from where she stands. Straight to the island. There, wall her up in a cell for life, with enough food to acquit ourselves of the case of the blood. Brothers and sisters of the land, I go now to my last journey. I will leave the light of the day forever for the island, strange and cold, lost between life so to my grave, my everlasting prison, condemned alive to solitary sleep. Gods of our fathers, my land, my home, time waits no longer. I go now to my living death, because I have honored those things to which honor belongs. 